Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So today's video, I'm going to talk about something a little different, and it's just about being free thinkers, right? So now, preppers, homesteaders, survivalists, whatever you want to call yourself, we are free thinkers, and here's why. We guys think differently than most people. A lot of us woke up, woke up, sorry, to the fact that we don't want to be reliant on anyone else, especially the government. We guys travel down this path to prepping because we want to think on our own. We don't want someone else to tell us when to do it, how to do it, and why we should do it, right? We, for the most part, probably since we were young, we were always free thinkers. Now, we have a lot of people liberals and you know democrats and shit like that and even some like republicans and and hell not even some republicans and conservatives that all follow the rules they're controlled these are the control people those of those of us guys who didn't take the arm ticket free thinkers because we had the wherewithal to go i don't trust that shit and now it's seeming like we were right we are free thinkers guys because there's a a, a thing in the back of our head that just gnaws at us and goes this doesn't feel right why doesn't this feel right? And so we listen to that. And when we listen to it, guys, we're like, shit, it actually panned out the way it did, right? Some of us looked at certain situations like Katrina, which was like a huge lesson for a lot of preppers. Looked at Katrina and goes, man, those people were fucking unprepared. Now, not only were they unprepared, but they let themselves be corralled into a stadium with other people. And then chaos ensued. Right, we've watched other disasters happen around the world and go, fuck, this is why I don't want to rely on the government. Because when the government fucks up, you can ultimately die from starvation or dehydration because they fucked it up. They didn't respond fast enough. They didn't bring enough food or water. So now, again, being a free thinker, guys, this is why we think freely because we don't want to be trapped in, in a stadium. We don't want to be trapped or corralled in some pen where they're keeping us safe. We don't want any of that. So our free thinking kicks in and we're like, we're going to do this on our own. And a lot of us don't want to be a part of the system anymore. More importantly, we don't want to be a part of the system. Now, yes, for those of us that live in the city, we are a part of a system. And a lot of us are breaking out of that system. But nonetheless, we are less reliant on the system than 99%. Now, guys, we want to be control of our destiny. And our destiny is to make sure that our family... And some of our friends that we like are fed, kept warm, and protected. The destiny of having control over your own life is why we prep, right? Again, we don't want to sit there on some line waiting to get a fucking box of MREs for our family or a case of water for our family. We want to be able to do this on our own without waiting on that line. Because again, some of us want no dependency of the government. Now, again, if you work for the city or the government, yeah, you're dependent on them in that way. But when this shit falls apart, you want nothing to do with that system. And that's why we prepare. Because if, not if, but a lot of us being dependent on the system now, when that system falls apart, because we will see it, we're no longer going to be a part of that system. We will now be on our own. We will hide out. We will go to our bug out location. Whatever it is we need to do, we're going to do it. A lot of us don't want to be dependent on the system of food. That's why people have homesteads in their garden. Because they don't trust the shit that's in the food. Because we are free thinkers. We think logically. We think, uh, not that we think logically. We think logically and we look at information that's out there. We just don't sit there and have our mouths open being force fed the bullshit that everybody else is being force fed. We think differently. And we've probably been thinking differently for a long time. And some of us, when we were kids, because that's who the fuck we are. That's a true definition of free thinker. It's somebody that's that's able to look at certain things and go, all right, I don't like this. Instead of looking at it and go, okay, whatever they say, I'll go along with it. That's not a free thinker. So for everybody that tells me they're a free thinker, but they did something like, I don't know, took the shot. Now, people took the shot because... You know, they took the arm ticket because they had to for work. That's different. But for those people who say they're free thinking and go, well, then why did you take the shot? They go, because they said it works. You're no longer a free thinker. You're part of the system. And now that you have that shit in your blood, you're definitely part of the system. But that's not the point of the video.
Here's the bigger part about being a free thinker. You don't want to be helpless. You don't want to feel helpless. You don't want to turn around, look at your wife and your kids and go, there's nothing to eat because I didn't get ready or I didn't do this. Being Part of being a free thinker, guys, is thinking also for your family and going, well, I don't want them to be, you know, I don't want them to go hungry. I don't want them to die of thirst or, or dehydration because I, 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 I believe the government was going to help me. Because there are people out there, guys, who seriously believe the government's going to help them. For everyone who looks for government for help, those are the people that are going to suffer big time. Those people who are uh, on welfare, for example, because they want that government help. Now, if you need welfare, that's a different subject. But if you're on it because you figure they owe you, well, then you're part of the problem. If you are relying on a system for pay, for money to be fed, you are fucked. You are 1,000% fucked. You're so fucked you don't even realize it. And you're going to look at this video for some of you and go like, fuck you, asshole. I, I'm, yo. When the fucking shoe drops, I told you. Now, there was an interesting incident a couple years back. There was a store here in the Bronx, not here, here in New York City in the Bronx. And the uh, the EBT machines, that's the welfare card thing program, um, it shut down. And the clothing store was taking EBTs. I couldn't fucking believe it, but whatever. They were taking EBTs. People flipped out for the two hours that the EBT system shut down. Two hours, they were flipping out, yelling at people in the supermarket, yelling at people in the clothing store because the EBT system shut down. Two hours. I thought we had more time than that, but apparently we don't. But why did that happen? Because they were a part of the system. They don't want to think freely. The government doesn't want you to think freely. The government wants you to be confused, scared, and reliant on them. This is why they shove all of this information out there. They shove out misinformation and disinformation and make it true and then the information that is true is disinformation and or misinformation this is why guys we think free we read everything that's out there and we come up with our own conclusion that's the bigger part of this coming up with your own conclusion don't sit there and be force-fed the bullshit think for yourself now again guys the reason why we do this the reason why we're free thinkers if you will is because we have zero trust in anything that's being said anymore, especially by government. Whether it's this government, Russian government, Chinese government, we have zero trust in them. We have zero trust in that they're going to help us. And what do we do? We take action. We take action by preparing. We take action by prepping. We take action by making sure our family is going to be fed. We also take action by making sure they don't have anything pumped into their body that doesn't belong in their body, right? Again, free thinkers. When a lot of us, during the whole Mr. 19 event, we're sitting there watching these doctors talk about the arm ticket not being good and the reason why, guess the fuck what, guys? A lot of us listen to them. We listen to the current uh, news at the time, and we, we made our conclusion go, okay, I'm not taking it. Why? Because we were free thinkers. We didn't let one person um, persuade us. We took all the information in and we decided, no, we're not doing this. Again, guys, this is why preppers prep. This is why homesteaders leave the system. This is why people who live in the country leave the system. Because they don't trust what's going on. They don't like what's going on. And they already know that the sheep are going to be led to die. They're going to be led to slaughter. Because they are still going along with the program they are still believing everything the government tells them listen when biden said those balloons sorry those objects in the sky that they shot down were car lot balloons there were people that undoubtedly undoubtedly believed that stupidity that's bad and here's the last reason for us being free thinkers guys we see what the world is we see what this world truly is this hoity-toity, rainbow flower bullshit, everything's good. That's that's not the world. That's the United States. That is not the world. The world is going to catch up with the United States very soon. This economic issue that we're seeing, I'm noticing, guys, that some big wig financial guys are killing themselves. I don't know if that's because they took the arm ticket and that was the effect, or they see something coming. And if you look at some of the big wig financial guys, it's around the world. It's not just here in the United States. In the United States, I think in New York alone, it was like two or three. 
I think around the world it's been about eight in the last three, four months. Notice when the recession was announced or that we were headed towards a recession, these guys started committing suicide. Now again, could be a coincidence, but I don't know. That's just something I'm throwing out there. But the financial woes that's coming, the U.S. government just said the other day, well, we didn't, we, we, to get control of the recession, we have to raise the uh, annual hike. We, sorry, we have to hike up the Fed rate. And I'm like, they already, right? So they're planning for something worse. And I think what's worse and what's coming, that's the problem. If we head into depression, guys, we are fucked. But a lot of us know that. A lot of us see that coming, right? We, they keep saying the recession's not here yet. I think it's been here for the last eight months. But the fact that they're telling the people that and we're seeing something differently, what does that say about us? Right? So anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.